Good morning, everyone. Well, this is the second to last in my series that I decided that I was going to do on gem razors or single edge razors. Uh, today I'm going to be using my Micromatic Gem Micromatic Open Comb Razor, which some people claim is the most aggressive single edge razor there is. I have not used this razor very much because this razor has got some issues and I'll show them to you. And that's just it just proves to show that you can use a razor that is not in perfect operating condition. Uh, they're pretty they're pretty versatile. This razor you know so I'm turning nothing happens the door should come open when I turn it well, that's not happening the little screw mechanism in there is not working right but using my fingers I can assist it open another thing you can see maybe I talked to you yesterday about the little posts this has got a good little post right there but over here it doesn't it's it's worn off quite a bit if you can see that so therefore that makes that blade sit in there a little awkwardly and unevenly but if you put the blade in and you get it in there and then you get it in aligned up against that one post and then the other one and then close it down get it aligned close it down then tighten it up and it takes some adjustment a little bit but it's not unlike things like the Yuma razor where you have to play with it a little bit but there it is it's locked down nothing's gonna happen but you can see on this razor just what kind of blade exposure you've got that blades out there pretty good so it should give a pretty aggressive shave this morning I, I've got a, a particular medical issue that I can't take a shower right at the moment so in preparation I did hot towel some hot water on my face and I did my mm -hmm. regular pre-shave oil I put that down first and then on top of that I did my Noxzema which is the Equate deep cleansing generic Noxzema with eucalyptus oil I put some of that on top of that and the the pre-shave oil softens a little bit but is not as good a softener as the Noxzema but in combination a good layer of that oil and then the Noxzema on top of it or you know it could be Parasso or it could be Vitos whatever uh, they're all basically the same consistency of of what they do put that on top and that should should soften up the the whiskers quite a bit um, this morning I'm going to be using uh, VDH Vanderhagen Deluxe and this is this is what whenever I went out uh, right after I first started wet shaving I went and I bought I don't know five or six pucks of Vander Hazen and Deluxe because it's, it's all I could find and I went and I mushed it and grated it all into this tub so I've got a tub here that's going to last me through the shave apocalypse probably but uh, I love VDH and then I'm going to be using my Omega 4P professional brush. I haven't used this brush enough 
And actually, I don't think it's even yet broken in, even though I've probably used it a dozen times. I think it's still got a ways to go to, to be broken in. But loaded up. Been soaking it in hot water. I usually load it up until it gets nice and frothy. And then I use a, a bowl and mix it up in the bowl. And this morning, because I want to do something a little extra, I'm going to put in some glycerin that's been infused with menthol. Get that little extra menthol kick from the beginning. The final one I want to do on the SEs is probably going to be this weekend sometime. Probably Sunday. Maybe Saturday. And I'll be using the, the 1912. But here we go with the Micromatic. And automatically, I can immediately feel the aggression of this razor. Hey, you, know, Doc, you see this, the lather falling off? I've noticed that with some of the SE razors, that the lather. just doesn't work the same way and you've got to shake the blade the the razor out pretty good or you carry a whole bunch of water this is a very aggressive razor not a bad aggressive But in comparison, to the other ones, you can feel it. And that was one thing I wanted to do in this series of shaves is just kind of keeping my memory the differences so that I could get a better feel for these razors and so far I, I started off I used my Jim Jr. then I used my Ever Ready shovel head 
the Jim Jr.'s head is pretty almost identical to that of the, the 1912. The Everetti was, was the mildest. And then I went to the Micromatic Flywing Razor, the closed comb. And uh, I think it was the mildest so far. Um, at least for me. Some people may have a little bit different experience with it. But for me, the closed comb is always a milder shave. So now, across the grain for me is up and down. I can really feel that blade. This is the fourth time using this blade. It's a gem persona. coated stainless steel and I suppose in the in the single edge razor world this is the R41 but really the technique of using this razor, even though it is very aggressive, is no different than the others. You do need to watch your angle. Because with as much blade exposure as this gives you, you could nick yourself if you kind of went the wrong way. Rinse off a little bit. That's pretty close so far already. Any other warm water, I, I've been keeping this. I put this in a bowl setting in my sink and the warm water does break down you know the warm I'm, I'm sure it breaks down this the soap in your creams I was wondering yesterday when I used my my big 28 millimeter brush if it was the water inside it that was causing the the lather to break down but I think just keeping it warm causes it to break down quite a bit because this the soap is much much thinner not as rich still as slick as it was but it's just not as as rich and thick if it wasn't warm. So that's the downfall of using a scuttle type thing or whatever it is. Your soap's going to be thinner. Okay, across the grain for me is kind of, or against the grain is kind of across my face.
Down here underneath my chin is always my hardest spot with the DE and with an SE to get all those whiskers off. Simon was asking how many shaves you get with a, an SE blade and that varies quite a bit from person to person just the way it does with DE blades. I have not myself gotten huge numbers some guys say you know six to, six to ten I seem to only get maybe three or four this is the fourth time on this blade and I wonder about the efficiency of it after that many times now these blades are thicker so you can kind of effectively strop them. Some people use a piece of blue jeans denim. You can strop them on your hand. It's still not real close right there. And see, that's what, what, what makes me wonder, even though this is a very, very aggressive razor, this being the fourth time with this blade, does it take some sharpness off of it? I'm sure it does. Whereas maybe the first time use, I wouldn't have to go back again. But but then some people they hand strop them, and that's just you put it up against your hand, and you just do that half a dozen times on each side. And some people claim that that puts a better edge on them. I don't know. I really don't know about that. It might help a little bit, but I can't see it doing a huge amount. You know, it's just one of those things. You can there's some things you can buy on occasionally on eBay. I can't remember what they're called, but they're stroppers that have. Um, you put the blade in, you turn it, and it's got uh, a leather pad in it. I'm going menthol all the way. This is my witch hazel infused with menthol. Worn off quite a bit, if you can see that. So, therefore, that makes that blade sit in there a little awkwardly and unevenly. But, if you put the blade in, and you get it in there, and then you get it in aligned up against that one post, and then the other one, and then close it down, get it aligned, close it down, then tighten it up, and it takes some adjustment a little bit, but it's not unlike things like the Yuma razor where you have to play with a little bit but there it is it's locked down 
nothing's going to happen. But you can see on this razor just what kind of razor there is. I have not used this razor very much because this razor has got some issues and I'll show them to you. And that's just it just proves to show that you can use a razor that is not in perfect operating condition. Uh, they're pretty they're pretty versatile. This razor you know so I'm turning nothing happens the door should good morning everyone well this is the second to last in my series that I decided I was going to do on gem razors or single edge razors uh, today I'm going to be using my micromatic gem micromatic open comb razor which some people claim is the most aggressive single edge rates come open when I turn it well, that's not happening the little screw mechanism in there is not working right but using my fingers I can assist it open another thing you can see maybe I talked to you yesterday about the little posts this has got a good little post right there but over here it doesn't it's it's 